Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, your boy is back and I done did it again. All right. So, <laughs> guys, this sounds so stupid, but it's so simple that, you know, even a caveman can do it. <laughs> There's a front end work is the easiest thing that you could find out there. And for people who are trying to get into this industry, I think it's, it's a no brainer to try to get into front end. Right, because in reality, you don't have to do that much. It's only HTML and CSS, right? And some JavaScript once in a blue moon. But yeah, so I saw this in in Hacker Noon. It's one of my favorite sites. What they do is they basically find a whole bunch of articles from Medium and put them together on this website. So it gives you a whole bunch of different news every single day with something new a new article somebody wrote or something new that they shared and i wanted to actually show this to you guys so these are the five basic skills for front-end development all right i want to give the props to dash bouquet for actually creating this which is something that i've been repeating a million times this is not math and science this is like simple all right so what he put in is first is HTML CSS, of course, the most basic building blocks of web coding, right? Just every page needs HTML and CSS, right? And then from there you have JavaScript. And I'm not talking about advanced JavaScript. I'm not talking about knowing object oriented JavaScript. I'm not talking about none of that stuff. Like we're just talking about understanding the DOM, understanding how to do a if statement, understanding how to do a loop, those little things. That's all we are talking about. All right. <laughs> so that's super simple. Okay. And then from there we have jQuery. Everybody will be like, guys, don't learn jQuery. jQuery is old. jQuery is from 1998. No, I think it's like 2005 or something like that. 2006. But jQuery is like as important as knowing JavaScript because every single website uses jQuery at some point. Every single person has to use jQuery at some given point. Doesn't matter if it's just to add a class to a element or they want to use it for Ajax. Like everybody has used jQuery and they still do. So if you're going to get hired, you need to know this three little things. They're not that hard. Trust me. We're not telling you become an expert in JavaScript. That's one of the things that people don't understand. You become an expert in JavaScript over the years. It doesn't mean that you have to become an expert in JavaScript before you get hired, before you get a job in the industry, before you start working on small projects or, or anything. All you need to know is the if statements, variables, operators, like the simple things, the syntax of JavaScript. Then from there, jump to jQuery. jQuery is fun. It's easy. It's going to save you a lot of time instead of you writing it directly in JavaScript. But you need to know JavaScript to basically understand jQuery. jQuery is just like bootstrap. It's like a way for you to write code faster or get something done simpler in a few lines. But you need to know what's under the hood. And under the hood is JavaScript. All right, then the fourth one that they put in is a JavaScript framework. And like, I'm going to repeat this again. You don't have to be an expert in any framework. All you need to know is understand what the framework is doing. Understand the syntax of the framework. Understand the boilerplate of the framework. And when I say the boilerplate, I'm meaning just the code that you always have to, you know, create. Like for React, for me, I always have to create a class. You know, I always have to create a class extending a component or I have to import the React from Node.js. Like little things like that, that might seem trivial and, and dumb. Like that's the boilerplate, the things that you have to do every single time. Like the same thing for Angular. You have to come in and say ng app in every single app. Like you don't have to become an expert. Just know certain things about it. All right. And then, of course, this is the most important to me. 
everything that we just talked about are great, but they mean nothing if you cannot debug. If you do not understand what debugging means or you don't know how to do this, where you right click, inspect, and then you come here and you look at a uh, element and you come here and be like, oh, there's a class. But what if I wanted to change this to body class or whatever? Or if I wanted to change, let's say, the background of this section, we go like this. We double click this into this and we say, hey, background red. Right. If you don't know how to do this, like you need to go back to like, you know, <laughs> you know, just the beginning because you need this. You need to learn how to debug. You need to learn how to look at the console log and, and find if there's an error, if something broke. If you came in and say name and nothing came up and then you're like, oh, it wasn't declared. So you got to come in and say, oh, var name equals, you know, Joe and it's undefined. But when you come here and you say name and prints it out, like if you don't understand what's going on here, you need to go back to the beginnings because you need to understand how to debug things whenever you have a problem and you see something like oh uh variable is undefined or variable variable is no or it's a you know like let's say you have the string of five but you're doing double equals and you're saying it's equal to f the number five and is giving you true but you're like wait they're not the same type how do i debug that how do i find out and you don't know how to do a triple equals to check if they're both the same number or and the same type like you know what i mean like if you don't know how to do those little things then you need to go back to the beginning right you need to understand how to debug and i think it's a very simple list it's like nothing crazy you don't have to be a genius to do this thing, but yeah, I think it, it, it was a pretty cool post to just keep it something, you know, something simple, just an infographic and that's it. It's like, here you go, guys. But yeah, you know, shout out to Dimitri Buko for writing this. And I hope you guys like this video where I just talk about certain posts. I really like this website, hackernoon.com guys i just want to say thank you for actually watching my videos and lasting all the way to the end i want to share this with you guys if you come here on my description you will see more links that's gonna help you out guys you have a link that's directly to my website where i have courses right courses that are going to help you like learn html css future proof javascript jquery node.js laravel like a boss i know how to code now what right Basically, these courses are going to help you take you get to the next level. All right. Listen, $10 a month. But for you guys, it's $5 a month. I'm talking about 50% off on everything automatically. All right. Just because it came from YouTube, guys. All right. And I also have, you know, the courses that made me into a developer that are coming directly from you to me. Trust me, guys. $10. They're completely worth it, guys. They're going to teach you how to become a developer now i would say come and check out my website give it a try it's five dollars you can cancel at any time but the best part about it is that you're learning from somebody who is self-taught somebody that's going to give you the things that you need to become successful like guys i make over a hundred thousand dollars as a web developer i've been doing this for a long time and now i'm taking it to the next level because of you guys i'm taking it to the next level to teach you guys and help you get to that job that you need to get right that job that you deserve all right guys so i'll see you guys later bow